Ya. Ok. Estimados señores y señoras, agradezco su invitación y payar Shusa. Y me alegro de conocer su región y sus socios. Les invito a un pequeño viaje a través de las perlas de los Alpes. And that was just about it. <laughs> And I hope you can bear with my English. Le bon dia. Uh, yeah. Alpine Pearls, I want to introduce you to our network which is an umbrella brand, actually, for tourism and soft mobility. Um, you've, been uh, you've been already introduced to Peter, who is our president of Alpine Pearls and also the mayor of our initiating village of Werfenweng. And I am a tourism consultant and um, the director of the project Alpine Pearls. So what is it really, Alpine Pearls? Um, We have um, an associ association with 27 villages being member and um, those villages offer soft mobility holidays and we consider them the most beautiful places in the European Alps. Um, it, the network, the association was founded in 2006 in Austria uh, but it consists of altogether six countries. I will show you the map. Is it too close? Better like that? Okay. So, uh, our member villages do a lot for soft mobility, develop them, and we as the uh, association, we promote their offers to the target market. And uh, we are building up corporations with um, companies, with enterprises, with two operators, with mobility service providers, bus uh, companies, and so on. Um, have a look at uh, the Pearls of the Alps. You see quite in the middle, Werfenweng, and the Alps here. Okay. No problem. Oops, no, no. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's easier that way. <laughs> And altogether there are <clears throat> five Austrian uh, villages, uh, some on lakes, some very much in the m high mountains, some focusing on winter tourism, some focusing more on summer tourism. Then we go over to Slovenia with the Pearl of Bled, which uh, is also beside a lake. Then down to Italy, where we have a lot of members, part of them in the Italian-speaking part, and five of them in the German-speaking part of Alto Adige, uh, South Tyrol. Then we come to France, where we have two members at the moment, one in a national park and one a very big uh, also skiing area, Léger and four in Switzerland at the moment. Uh, maybe you know, you've sure heard of Interlaken and Arosa, which are the most famous ones. And then we close our circle in Germany with the two pearls of Berchtesgaden and Bad Reichenhall. Berchtesgaden very famous for national park also, and Berchtesgaden for spa tourism. Um, what is the basis of the cooperation? Uh, it has been developed uh, within European Union projects um, of Interreg in the years of 2002-2005. And the finishing of this European Union projects was the foundation of uh, the association. And the base for it is a catalog of criteria which all of the members have to follow. Um, the contents of this uh, catalog of criteria consists of basic requirements, how to become a member, you have to be in the project area, you have to offer soft mobility generally, you have to be a tourism region, tourism village, just to be eligible to be a member. And then it comes down to the criteria of mobility, where we focus very much on. So we look at the mobility for the overnight guests, comprising arrival and departure for them, pick up from the railway station, mobility in the village and also going to sites and having attractions um, easily 
mob mobility at hand. Then we have a focus on mobility of the daily visitors, which in many pearls are quite a sub substantial part. Then, of course, also very important, the newly introduced into our catalogue of criteria is the mobility for inhabitants. Beforehand, we were only focusing on tourists, and we've seen that it is one part of the story, but to have an encompassing offer, which is also lived and loved in a site, you also need to um, include the inhabitants, of course. And there is one big part, which is, uh, so to speak, the most fun, fun mobility. That goes from all um, non-motoric um, sports to, if you have some motor sports, it must be electrical sports, for example electric biking or, uh, or even making tours with e electric cars or it's actually 80% of it is hiking a, lot, a big part of it is, is just is biking and mountain biking so all our pearls offer a very variety of uh, soft mobility some focus more on hiking some focus more on electric uh, vehicles like Werfenweng and you will see more about that afterwards and then we have uh, also taken into consideration in our catalogue of criteria that mobility on its own is not a holiday. This is an important vehicle, but it's, it's not the pleasure of a holiday. The pleasure of a holiday consists of a beautiful environment with natural um, treasures. It uh, consists of quality of life, also with, of course, eating, drinking, wine, and so on, drinking. And these products uh, in the gastronomy should come from local and regional products. So this is a new focus, which we think is, is very, very important. You also cut down on kilometers here if your products are produced locally and regionally. Um, and there is an organizational framework, of course, where we see that um, every vi village and every member mu must work professionally and offer packages, sell them, and communicate with us and with media professionally. So uh, some criteria are must and some of them are, of course, uh, only premium and, and so uh, the, 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 the highlights. So what do we do as an asso association? We have as a basis uh, the yearly organization of all our communication tools as objective building the image for our association and for our members. And um, above the basic uh, communication measures, we have projects. Um, for example, one is to build up uh, a network of SMEs in our villages, that's the pensions, the uh, holiday on farms and the hotels offering soft mobility. And that means, uh, that does not mean that they have to buy very expensive electric bikes or something. That only means they have to work and for, you know, work and focus on sustainability in their hotel and know a lot and really offer soft mobility which is already in the village. Because we see often here a missing link, the community and the munici municipality and the tourism association offers a lot of good infrastructures and soft mobility offers but sometimes it doesn't really get down to the receptions of the hotels. So if a guest asks where's the next bus stop and when is the sightseeing tour to Barcelona, they might not know it. <laughs> so we work a lot with people there, it's uh, service quality. Um, the next one is to build soft mobility holiday offers, which are really, you know, packed in, three days, five days and so on. And we see on our website also that um, good products and, and packages are are liked more than general information on a network. General image building, of course, people want to see what does it mean, what can I buy, what would it cost. Um, in 2015, we make an advertisement com campaign because um, this is probably one of the most important um, activities for our members. They really ask us and um, want us to do more on the market. So our work is not so much in the villages. They really have to do their job and develop excellent tourism products. But our job is to put it on the market. And at the moment, this is just a sidestep from this uh, association which has Austrian law and is founded in Austria. We are now on the next step to found an European grouping of territorial cooperation, which is a formal instrument of the European Union for associations like that, transborder. 
uh, and it's uh, more uh, known and, and I think has a better standing than a national association. And of course, we want to also enroll into new European Union projects. And uh, Jordi has given a, a beautiful overview, and we are also very busy here in receiving or developing projects and receiving co-financing. At the moment, we are since 2006 without any co-financing. The financement I will show you afterwards. One important uh, task in, within our activities is the internal communication for the ex exchange of experience with study tours to our villages, but also to other villages um, with our members. So it's not only us traveling, but really um, groups of our member villages. Uh, we collect and uh, database uh, pilot projects and, for example, if members have a question when it comes to the rental of e-vehicles, what does make sense and how does it work, we know which member is professional in, in this and this respect. We have our hiking pearls, which have really an excellent quality. We have the gastronomy pearls, who have an outstanding offer in culinary um, uh, offers. So we try to connect as good as possible. And uh, exchange of experience is also carried out during our yearly member meeting, where we have now more than 100 people coming, and it's really a conference for soft mobility in the European Alps. And we are not very much uh, a closed um, group. We invite press for these meetings. We invite people from other countries. And uh, once at the general um, member meeting, we even had guests from Japan young students interested in soft mobility. So if you find an opportunity and a reason to come, we would be just glad to invite you and share some of the experiences. That's uh, also one major objective. We don't want to have a closed job and, and um, you know, just internally, but we really, and that's why we are here also, we just want to spread the message because we think it's, it's really great and has a future potential. Um, much of my work is focused on media work. We have press agencies in, in Munich and in um, Milano and in Paris, and we do a lot of print and online advertisement for our members and for the image of Elk Pearls. Every now and then we even get a TV um, special on us and radio. Uh, we work, of course, with media corporations. Our budget is limited. We always, always have to look at corporations and partners, of course. And we love to do press conferences and press trips, which are really famous. We, the, the best one we did was 12 days without CO2 emissions through the Alps. So you walk and bike and take the train. And uh, every CO2 emission uh, which happened, we had to, um, we had to reduce on another place. So it was interesting. We call it the Alpine crossings, and they really, then it comes really to, you can really tell the people and show the people what is done. It's away from theory. It's, you see what happens if you plan uh, to cross a pass uh, on foot and it starts to snow. So <laughs> what is really going on? Um, a lot of work is also in our website. Please have a look in five languages. Sorry, not in Spanish, but in English or fr French you might be. Uh, able to read easily, and we're active on, on social media, of course, today. You have to be with about 10,000 followers on Facebook, also in three languages, French, Italian, and German. Um, just one example how we work in practice. If um, some of our villages come up with an interesting project, uh, for example, a an, an mountain bike cup between um, carried out in more than one pearl. We were the um, coordinator to have uh, a cup and a, a joint a winner and so on. So the project I've already uh, mentioned is the Alpine Pearls hosts, these hotels. And we also see here that as soon as they are displayed on our website with their services, the clicks go up. So if you display another village which has become member, this is really good, but it doesn't really make the big effect. The effects you have if you put down a hotel offering four stars or three stars and the soft mobility offer. Uh, organizationally, it, um, the municipalities, the members are municipalities or tourism associations of municipalities, and they pay a yearly fee of 12,000 euros. 
Um, we have opened up the network also for larger uh, destinations. So that's a cooperation of more than one municipality uh, working together in tourism. And here the yearly fee would be higher. That's theoretically. At the moment, we don't have any destinations as partners. That's new for us. We've started it in, in December. Um, when we uh, have a new member, there's an entrance fee of 8,000 euros. And if you add that up, 27 members, we come to a, a budget of about 300,000, 350,000 per year. And with that, we carry out all the activities I've just briefly touched. What is the relevance for our members? Why do they get member? Uh, what do they profit? Um, most of all, of course, they can use this umbrella brand, which is already really a known brand, small but known, in their advertising, in their media, and so on. Um, and we put this clear common message already on the market. There is not a development potential, and, but it's clearly here in these 27 pearls of the Alps, you can already make sustainable soft mobility holidays. So for the smaller of our smaller villages of our com, uh, association, it's important because they have limited um, resources for advertisement. They say, okay, here this one company, Alpine Pearls, focus on this me message only. And in the bigger ones like Interlaken, you can imagine they have millions of visitors a year. For them, it's the niche. They don't have to do uh, marketing in this very niche. Um, so we pool the budget for sustainable marketing and also product development as with the activities I've just explained to you, with the corporations also. The international exchange of experience is important for our members, of course. <coughs> Um, they like this service when we come into the village and do the um, um, consulting person to person with mayor and tourism um, director. And what they see, this is not just this, what we call the, the green deco decoration, <laughs> but they really see the number of arrivals and overnight stays increasing. Some see it uh, only <coughs> a little bit decreasing, increasing, and some see substan substantial increase in their overnight stays. So that is the actual objective. It's not so much giving it the green cap, but really make economic uh, benefit and, and, and overnight stays. Um, I've just uh, taken out one, two small examples of what the pearls do, because we today really want to focus on Werfenweng. Uh, one example here is, um, is a hiking bus, which is nicely branded, and the people can uh, get off the train, jump on the bus, get to their hotel, and go to their hiking places, be picked up, be picked up after hiking. So this is something very, very um, useful and good for the tourists. And another very new <laughs> uh, is soft mobility with this electric car, which is at the moment the one with the furthest ranged, range, the, te the Tesla, and one pearl in Switzerland. This and this has now the Tesla for rent. We think it's important, of course, to have eye catchers. In our, it's, it's a marketing initiative. So we really need eye catchers, and we have it here, and I wanted to show you that there are <laughs> eye catchers. Peter is a little bit jealous that it's not Werfenweg with the Tesla, but <laughs> we, will, we will see. <laughs> There's another very good initiative for uh, communicating the mobility offers, and it's Interreg within three of our villages. They have built up an Interreg project, um, Moos, Werfenweg, and Vilnius, and they analyzed what do we need, and they have developed a really good project to uh, collect all the um, information for the tourists and to put it into a display and also on the website and also on app to see when is my next hiking bus, when does my train go home, if I have a car, where can I park it, how much does it cost and so on. So this is a very good application and, and good um, example for projects within the pearls where Alpine Pearls is, is, is not of major importance, the, the pearls do it. That's what I find really, really good. So I just um, would like to hand over to Peter. Just before, take a look at Facebook.com and become friends. We would be pleased to have 
even more friends and register also for our newsletter, which we send also out in um, English language. Thanks for that, and we'll see what Peter has to tell you about Werfenweng. Uh, thank you for inviting. I'm very happy to be here. That will tell you how is soft mobility in Werfenweng, in my village. Werfenweng is a very small village in Salzburg. We have only 950 inhabitants. And um, it's very important for us to, to uh, be near the railway station. Bischofshofen is our railway station, 12 kilometers from Bischofshofen is Werfenweng on the on the, on the south side of the mountain called Tennengebirge. In the Fmeng we have 2,000 guest beds, 55,000 uh, guests over the year, half in winter, half in summer, uh, and the whole overnight stays are 260,000. This is the landscape from village of Werfenweng with the mountains in the backside. Uh, it's a very beautiful uh, little village in Salzburger land. The history of the soft mobility is a long history. It was in the year 1994, and the reason was that the overnight stays goes down in Werfenweng. And we had to see what can we do that we can we become more guests and that we can be successful in tourism. And we created a vision mission statement and in this uh, vision mission st statement the first time we called about Werfenweng can become a car free village. But Peter, Peter can I Peter can Peter, you, you say you make this mission statement and to get uh, rid of the cars. Was it easily? Your inhabitants said, yes, please, take my car. Uh, how did it work? <laughs> it was not easy because 70% um, of our guests um, comes from Germany and the German guests, the German peoples are very uh, lovely to the car. They say it's no, no life without car. It's impossible. <laughs> And the inhabitants of Wefweng says to me, it's impossible to, to, to say we, are, we, 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 can, we, can, we can have um, uh, uh, tourism without car. That's not possible. But um, we do it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> um, one of the, of the, of the examples, for us was um, in Switzerland um, um, Sasfe, Zermatt, car free villages and we had the, the, the possibility to be, uh, become a model project in Austria and the first principal question was what's the way, a, a radical way to put a barrier to say tomorrow we are car free, that was not possible. That wasn't possible. Um, if we did, did uh, this, uh, I would never been uh, mayor in Werfenweng. <laughs> the second way was um, to, to begin a process, a process with the inhabitants, with the guests, with the experts. Uh, we speak about, we speak from a, a way with thousand steps. And this way we, and this way we are today, we had the possibility to, to participate on some uh, European projects. This was very important for us. One important project was the, uh, the project for the, for the founding of the uh, corporation uh, Alpine Purse. But, oh, that was too, but the, how do it, how is it in Werfenweng? The most important thing in Wefweng in soft mobility is the SAMO card. 
die Sanft Mobile Karte, die Soft Mobility Card. And it's uh, only possible to become this card if you arrive by train or if you leave your car key in the tourism office. That's very important. Only if you do this, so arrive by train or leave the car key in the tourism office, you can become the Samo card. The Samo card is a very, um, very, um, very uh, good car. It only costs 10 uh, euros per, per, per guest and per, per holiday. And the Samo card offers uh, free uh, a word of soft mobility. It begins with the Wefmeng shuttle, it's the connection connecting um, uh, the Wefmeng shuttle is connecting Wefmeng directly with the train station in Bischofshofen. In Wefmeng you have the Alois, the electric Alois. Alois is a typical name of, uh, of Austrian and it's the private taxi to serve our guests. You can call it and you can say, I want to go to the restaurant, I want to go to the, to the hiking point, I want to go to, to, to buy something. And the Elois comes and brings you to the, this point. And this from 9 uh, a.m. to, uh, to, to uh, 8 p.m. And in the night you have the electric night taxi. You can call it and you can go from one restaurant to the other restaurant or you can go home. Perhaps it's possible, uh, and it, this service is all free. The next you can do in Wefmeng is to have um, rental cars. We have a lot of electric cars. Uh, more than here, than here uh, you can see, uh, we have uh, Peugeot Eons, we have Renault Zoes, and you can have free this electric car. You can um, go with the electric car to Salzburg, to, this, to, to visit Salzburg, you can go to, to visit St. Johann, you can, can go um, for, um, for, for um, uh, buy something in Bischofshofen and so on. You can have biogas cars, or biogas cars go with, with biogas from grass. They are called grasshoppers. The next uh, we have in Wefmeng is uh, fun mobility. We have a lot of fun vehicles, electric bikes, better legs, e-mountain bikes, scooters, segways and so on. And uh, if you visit Wefmeng in the summer you can see this here in Wefmeng. And uh, with this uh, fun mobilities, fun, fun um, electric um, mobilities you can um, uh, go to, through the, to the streets from Wefmeng and see the beautiful landscape and enjoy it. The next uh, what's included in this uh, soft mobility card, the Samo card, um, day tours, guiding hiking tours, nature watch tours and so on. Uh, in the winter time you have included the horse coach sled, the horse coach, you have included the ice skating, you have included trekking with llamas, we have included um, uh, guided uh, snow and, sh and, uh, and sh uh, snowshoe walking. We have included cross country equipment. So it's, this uh, Samo card is a very, very um, good card. And for us, I think it's very important from where comes the electric energy. We have um, um, solar filling stations for the electric vehicles in Werfenwang. We have a um, big photovoltaic in Werfenwang, photovoltaic plant. We have uh, solar street lamps in Werfenwang. It's a lot of uh, solar um, energy. It's very important from where come the good products in Werfenwang. We have a um, regional, um, a farmer shop, and there are regional products in uh, you can buy it in this uh, farmer shop. We have a uh, biomass heating in Werfenwang. And it's important that we, not only for the guests, we have a Samo card, we have also a Samo card for the inhabitants of Werfenwang. It's called Wir Samo card, so the Samo card for the inhabitants. And if the inhabitants don't use the car and go by the bus 
were used the electric uh, vehicles, they um, become advantages. And it's very important that we have uh, a lot of winners in our project. One of the winners is the environment, because a lot of um, tons CO2 is, uh, is, is reduced. 55% um, of our guests arrive by train. Before this project, it was uh, only 6%. 20, 25%. Now, and for the, before this project, it was uh, 6%. The enterprises were winner and were main because the overnight stays increased from 162,000 to 212,000 uh, in four years, in only four years. And the guests are winners because they have an interesting um, um, uh, thing to, to do. And the inhabitants are also winners because they can use the soft mobility. They can use the Wefmeng shuttle, they can use the, the, the night shuttle, and so on. And we have a credo in Wefmeng. We, so, we, say, we say not you must, and you don't have. We say you have advantages if you um, don't use the car. And uh, this, the way, we have now a long way, uh, the thousand steps in the next years. Uh, we have a lot of uh, new projects. Uh, the Samo cars for day visitors is one of our important projects. We have a lot of day visitors and we are developing a Samo card for these day visitors. And uh, we have um, a project for e-mountain biking and so on. So we have a lot of uh, future steps in our project of soft mobility. <laughs> so for Refenweng also, of course, it's a real value added, the membership. And for Alpine Pearls, it's a real value added to have Refenweng as this um, model village, because I have to admit that uh, the others don't have the same services. They have different uh, focuses and uh, if you want to see this electric mobility and fun mobility, it's Werfenweng. And if you want to go more hiking, um, then it, it might be another, or mountain biking, you might go to another pearl. But for, for Werfenweng, of course, it's great. Here you see our President Peter in his car. <laughs> it's called the Werfenweng Shark. <laughs> it's a twike and he does uh, I'm allowed to say it. He does not really have a normal car anymore, but he has the shark, and <laughs> he's known for it. <laughs> and you see here a man, he's a journalist, so you can imagine that really a lot of journalists are coming to see that. And the most important thing for them is always, how do you get the tourists to leave their car key behind? Because you have this big, nice Mercedes, and you really give it away for two weeks, maybe. And it really breaks their heart, and <laughs> we try to knit it together again and give them all the pleasure in the, in the country and in the, the village of soft mobility. Like with Mahatma Gandhi, we, we can finish. There are more important things in life than to enhance one's speed, but slow down. So we gladly invite you to visit our facilities uh, in Werfenweng, and from my point of view also, of course, the other pearls of the Alps. And we would like to show you what really happens if you do it like Josep Capella and Inma and uh, the mayor of um, Murde Castillo, Josep Castillo and so on. They have been in a castle um, and visited the castle and I will show you what people in Werfenweng do when they visit the castle. And one day you might come and also want to try it. Let's see if it works. Muchísimas gracias. Me encantaría poder recibirles en las perlas de los Alpes, especialmente en Werfenweng. Have a look. Have a look.
Durham Reserve, their castle today, it's been a really cool part of the trip, and I'm looking forward to the rest of it.